Let's talk about being sober for 600 days. What's going on YouTube? This is Jamie Dottie Garza. Let's ignite the world. Let's ignite your sobriety. And I wanted to make this video and reflect on my recent accomplishment of becoming 600 days sober, alcohol free. Now I want to open the space for everybody out there, no matter where you are in, the, in your journey, whether you're thinking about starting sobriety, whether you're day one, only one day in, maybe one month in, maybe one year in, I want to open this discussion for everybody because it's oftentimes not the path always taken and every step is a journey and you should be very should feel very accomplished no matter where you are on your quest. I happen to reach over 600 days and I would have never in my whole life imagined I would be sober for even 20 days at one point, but I reached 600 days since April 18th of 2022. I quit drinking alcohol. I made a few videos on this channel that seems to get a lot of views and what you guys want. And I want to talk about some of the big takeaways I've taken from this journey of being 600 days sober. Immediately off the bat, as you guys can tell, I am flourishing. I am glowing. I am focused. I don't have no mental fog whatsoever. I am peaceful, I should say. I no longer need to drink alcohol, to be fun, to feel worthy, to feel the best version I can be, to feel creative. I have a newfound confidence in myself. And at 34 years old, I am so blessed and grateful that I found this early as opposed to later on in life. My background with alcohol started very young in my teens. So I was one who loved the feeling of it, but also loved how I felt I was funny. I felt like people loved me more when I was drinking. And as I reflect back now, it's kind of like how American culture is. You go out to bars, you have fun, you watch the game, whether it's football, whether it's a boxing match, whether it's a get together, you get some drinks involved, everyone has fun, right? Get the tunes involved, you go to concerts. In my case, I was a DJ and in and out of studios, so it was more than likely when you're creating something, you would take a drink. And that feeling became an addiction. And I didn't call it an addiction at that time. I thought I was just living my life, living my best life in my 20s and later developing into my mid 20s until now I can look back and be like, dude, dog, you was a you was an alky. <laughs> I share that with you guys because I want you guys to see where I was at. I made a video a few weeks ago. You can click the link above or in the bio of some of my stories of when I actually had proof of me and what I was going through at the time I was drinking. You can click that to get more context. But I feel so confident in myself as a man, as a father, as a husband, as an entrepreneur. Running my business, I am focused each and every day. Whether I'm emailing, on the phone, in person, having discussions about business and helping others, I need to be performing at this high level each and every day. And there's only one way I can do it, through sobriety. Sobriety is discipline. You know, as someone who takes his health very seriously nowadays, making sure I eat a lot better. You know, I want to stay away from a lot of processed sugars. I already don't eat meat. I don't, I'm a vegetarian and I'm very conscious of what goes in my body. This just makes sense that I eliminate the alcohol, eliminate the booze completely. And that might be extreme for some. You know, you might be someone out there who has to get weaned off inch by inch, maybe that means just cutting your drinking in half 
over the weekend. That, may, that might be you sacrificing not even going to the bar. Or that might be like, you know what, instead of the hard liquor, let me go for the brew. Different strokes for different folks. I was one, i always been one where I have to go cold turkey. I went cold turkey with cigarette smoking, with tobacco, cold turkey with smoking weed. Even as someone, I'll be transparent now, I dibbled and dabbled in a lot of drugs in my early, early 20s. But I was never one to get hooked on it. If it was there, it was there. And that was my mantra, like, oh, let's just have some fun. What can it hurt? So this is coming from someone, I just want to paint the narrative of who is speaking right now. And maybe you can relate, maybe you cannot. Hopefully this is able to inspire. Sobriety is a journey. Sobriety is a quest. Alcohol, for me, kept me in a dark place. And I elaborate a lot on this channel of my mental health and how I suffer from mental health issues. And going through and reflecting, because that's what that's what this journey journey has been. I mean, going over 600 days, it has been a lot of self-reflection. It has been a lot of sober thoughts, because guess what? That's all you can think. There's nothing delusion in my mind at all. And in those thoughts, I realized how I wasn't, there wasn't no such thing as mental health back in the day. But I realized how much drinking made things worse. It was a cover up. You know how like women sometimes or even men in Hollywood, they put makeup on to cover up a blemish. Well, I feel like that's what I was doing when I was drinking alcohol. I was covering up a root of insecurities within myself lack of things within myself i was wanting to go into a fantasy land and drink alcohol and i was someone who couldn't just drink one let me go ahead and take a six pack matter of fact let's do a 12 pack matter of fact it's monday tuesday let's 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 drink a whole fifth of hennessy just because and i was chasing that i'm so Grateful. I mentioned this earlier, the peace that I get from being sober. This peace is not one you can buy. This peace of mind and this peace within myself is a confidence that exuberates, hopefully not only with this content I create, but into my life. I will say this often because I know there's sometimes people who talk about their journey and they don't want to mention God. Well, I'm going to mention God. I don't, want, I don't have no shame in it. Because without God, none of this would happen. God delivered me from alcoholism. This isn't about religion. This is about truth. God delivered me from being an alcoholic, a functioning alcoholic. God delivered me from weed. God delivered me from smoking cigarettes, cancer in my body, okay? So alcoholism was always at the top tier, though. For something to convict my soul, like God did, right? He convicted my soul and made me not fall back, back to what I used to be in my old, my old vomit. I'm a testament of him. And this is a living testament of what he can do for you, of what he's done for me. I can't paint the picture enough for you guys. Like, if I would have said I was going sober maybe even five years ago, maybe even 10 years ago especially, people will probably laugh. I was advocating for drinking all the time on my Facebook page. Pouring up bottles, saying I'm going to the bar, posing with drinks in my hand. There's some photos right now that I wish I could retake because they were with loved ones. But the only eyesore is the fact that I'm holding a bottle in each and every picture. I cringe now because that's not who I am no more. I'm a changed man. And I want this to serve as motivation for any man out there who doesn't feel like they can change because they feel like their identity has been taken over by alcohol or booze. It's true you can change and you can be delivered and you can restart. You can start now. You can start next week. You can start whenever. 
but you have the power to start right now. And that first step is just taking the thought of you wanting to get sober. I'm so grateful I don't have to worry about making a bad decision. Now, as humans, we're all going to make bad mistakes. As a man, especially, we're all going to mess up. I understand that part. But I can confidently say if I do mess up, I can't blame it on alcohol. Guess what I have to blame it on? Myself. When I look my kids in their eyes and I say something to them, it's no forgetting. It's nothing to blame. It wasn't, oh, I was drunk or this and that. No, it's me. My kids won't ever have to see someone who's angry at them being an angry drunk. Someone who's being overly aggressive. Someone who's constantly yelling. Someone who gets very egotistical. They won't have to see that. Especially my daughter. Because before my daughter was born, I was sober. I grew up where a lot of the men I looked up to, they drank. I thought drinking made one manly. I, I, I associated drinking with a badge of honor. When my mom got married in 2000, 2002, I remember being 15 and sneaking off and making a Henny and Coke to ease my nerves. It tasted good, it tasted delicious. I felt like a man. I felt like hair was becoming on my chest. And I, and from then, you know, that's where it started. That's when I was like, okay, drink is cool. I was never like a, 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 and I'm Mexican. I'm half Mexican. So we use the term borracho. That's the drunk, as my abuela, my grandma would say. I was him. The only difference is that I was handling business, what I thought was business at the time. There was a time I remember I was freelancing, I was working, and then my desk, like my desk you see in the background, they were filled with bottles, Crown Royal, Hennessy. I'm not shouting those brands out right now, but I'm telling my whole truth because that's all I want to do right now. And hopefully my truth can help inspire someone that, hey, you too can get sober. You too can kick this nasty habit that's just keeping you down. And that's what I, the biggest reflection I have now is that alcohol just kept me down. It kept me away from being the light and the best version that God intended me to be. I've been able to be way more productive. This is probably the most productive year of my life. I've been more intentful. My relationships have skyrocketed, not only personally with my kids and my wife, most importantly, my relationship with God, but also the relationships I've built in my community here, serving my clients, networking. I'm in a leadership class right now, and I'm one of the youngest in that class. I'm, I'm performing at a high level. And I know for a fact that I would not be able to perform like this if I was taking drinking alcohol. It's just proven. I feel like my body doesn't get sick a lot and I feel like I don't have to worry about draining it and burning it down with alcohol. Because one thing when I drank alcohol, I always wanted to do what? Smoke a cigarette to accompany it. Sobriety is great. I want to continue on this path. I will continue on this path. I love the fact that a lot of celebrities, musicians, rappers are speaking out and becoming sober because that's where it starts. And that's why I want to encourage you guys. I have no downfalls on quitting alcohol. I'm still funny. People still love me. My kids think I'm still hilarious. I'm still fun. Confidence. My energy, energy is still out the roof. I've been able to use my time more wisely. I've been able to be more intentful. I've been able to grow my business. I've been able to do stuff like this and create a channel finally and create podcasts finally. 
I'm, I just pray that I didn't do too much damage to my body. That it's still time to recover. If you're thinking about becoming sober, if you're thinking about taking this quest, if you're feeling convicted, that's how you know it's time. Uh, a lot of people I look up to, they're on my Facebook timelines and they all mention the fact that they want to quit smoking cigarettes, quit smoking weed, quit drinking. It's not what it used to be. Let that be a sign for you. Listen to your body. Listen to God if he's trying to convict you. If you're watching this video, maybe it's not an accident that you clicked it. I don't believe in coincidences. This may be your sign telling you to do it. As someone who has done it and continues to do it, try day one. If you, if you fall short, it's okay. Get back on your bike. Keep trying. It's a quest. Ignite your sobriety. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below. Share where you're at on this journey. I would love to know. I talk back. I read my comments. Let's build this community up, everyone. Ignite the world.